right now, still moving on to other things where they trend inside the news. Now, we don't yet say, um, in, inside this controversial move, the Nigeria Customs Service on Thursday, just yesterday, they don't announce the cutting of petroleum products to Nigerians living within 20 kilometers of an international border. Now, they talk, say, about 57 borders that they don't shot across uh, Nigeria since August. As the government, they make sure, say, all their actions to stop and limit uh, foreign products. Say, maybe not the entire side will do Nigeria. Say, they reduce them to a very, very good point. Now, the border closure, though, actually starts, um, do they take a lot of... Um, negative and even positive um, reactions on top of the Nigerian economy. With many Nigerians, they come outside, they complain. Say, with the way where they close this border, so we not get rice and we not get other essential products where we're supposed to be chopped well, well. Now, even this foreign restriction, so on Thursday, there'll be communicators from the custom headquarters for inside Abuja to all formations across the country, according by reports where they'll be circulated uh, for November 6th. Now, the custom become as I talk, say, petroleum tankers. Say, going forward, their no feet go beyond 20 kilometers inside any international border. Say, Nigeria gets dozens of official international borders. And um, like I thought, you 57, now they don't shut down. Now, they say, it will not be very immediate, it's not very clear the alternative solution where they don't provide for millions of people living for inside the border area across the country to get petroleum products. Um, which presently now a key part of the Nigeria economic activity. But now, but a custom don't ban the supply of foil to Nigerians. Now, not just every Nigerian, especially those Nigerians where they live for inside those border area. So if they live around this border area, um, you not go get access to foil. It go hard you small. That that's the thing because now you're going the, the, the situation will turn to artificial scarcity. Yeah, exactly. Because these people are living in within, within the, the country, yeah. but it's just that it is within the yes. the international border, mm -hmm. as the case may be. Uh, people they come outside they say, is that actually a smart move? Mm -hmm. Is What's that really smart? What is, which which way they don't put on ground yes, for these people? Say, okay, how do they go figure them? Because mm -hmm. I understand, say, the government, they try to stop them so that those people don't go feel smuggle these goods, yeah. these things outside the country. Very true. But why not make, make sure, say, the border, those international border, they, they are sealed as possible mm -hmm. to the best capacity of it to do. Because now you they, you they, you they struggle, struggle, because in this case, you're struggling the necks of the people that are actually living now there. Now we go suffer more, because if you make moves like this, try and create an alternative to Nigerians. Try and let them know, say, yes, so this government, they work to make sure, say, this other way is there for you to get access to foreign. Because we know, say, foreign is something where every Niger person we need. Mm -hmm. Every Niger person we need them. To enjoy more of this, our will get videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.